Hello, I'm Atubo George and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you. Now, this is a new week and listen, I'm trusting the Spirit of God that this week He will open your understanding. He will, he will bless the thoughts of your mind and bring His truth to your heart and that you will function in God's grace and in His mercy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the Lord has laid something in my heart to share with you this week and I pray that the Lord makes you make you understand his truth because what I'm going to be sharing with you this week are things that the Lord personally have taught me now you may not have heard this anywhere you may have heard it because I, I believe something when God is teaching you something he is not just teaching only you in the whole wide world he is teaching some other people that are listening to his voice so but I just pray that the Lord gives you understanding and then you begin to function in, in his truth and then enjoy the blessing of the Lord. Praise God. Now, Genesis chapter 9, Genesis chapter 8, sorry, and verse 22. Now, God's speaking to Noah. Now, the background story is after the flood, see, and God was speaking to Noah. And he said, while the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease now we're looking at that first part where it says while the earth remaineth seed time and harvest shall not cease now this is a declaration by god almighty to noah he said, look as long as the earth remains seed time and harvest will never cease now i'm going to be talking to you about seed time and harvest trust me you hear things you never imagined before i know that because when the lord taught me i'm like really <laughs> you know you know many times we've been so whacked or, or abused our minds have been abused um, because of religion and everything we consider we consider it from the religious point of view and the fact that you're thinking something is religious doesn't mean it is godly you understand what i'm saying and most times when we talk about religion we're talking about as pertaining to organized religion but you see god is not a religious person for example god is not a christian god is not a, a muslim he is god <laughs> see he's god now that's the reason he can send peter who's born again and send him to Corninius, who, I mean, naturally we say has nothing to do with God. But the Bible says he was a godly man. And God knows those that are godly in every tribe, in every part of the earth. He knows those that are godly. And he ministers to them in his own way. Praise God. They don't have to be in your church. You know, sometimes we say, I, I, I remember sharing something with someone one time. And he said, uh, uh, nice, nice stuff, but... My pastor have not shared this before. So I don't know how I can do it. I don't know how I can practice this. See? Now, such a person is stuck. Because your pastor have not shared something. You just feel, ah, I think I'll just relax with what my pastor have, have been teaching us. But you see, that's not how God organized it. Every one of us is supposed to be growing in knowledge. Praise God. Now, Notice again, it says, as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest. Now, when you read things like this, your first thought will be, okay, so I will start, since God said this, I will start sowing seed and I will start receiving my harvest also. And since God said it, you know. But see, your understanding of scriptures is very important for you to walk in the light of it. Now, that's the reason I love John's writing. See, when you, when you start the first, second, and third John, his communication of the gospel is quite um, unique. Unique how? He speaks more of the workings of the Holy Spirit in a man. See, John will tell you, if you are of God, you will love. See, so he doesn't say, you are of God, so try to walk in love. No, John wouldn't say that. John would say, if you are not walking in love, you are not born again. See? Now that's John's communication. 
So when God says here that as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest will not cease. Now he's not talking about man's operation here. He's talking about God's operation. So it is God that sets it as seed time and harvest will not cease. It is not man that brings it to God and says, Lord, let seed time and harvest be established. No, it is God's operation. And that's one thing you need to understand. Now, when we accept God's operation and then bring ourselves to walk in line with it, then we will see the blessing of it. Praise God. Now, I'm going to be talking to you about this you know, for the rest of the week. So get ready. And I know God is surely going to open your understanding and you are going to be blessed. Praise God. I've got to stop here now. But until tomorrow, listen, step out of this day with a smile on your face. On your face. And then the love of God in your heart. And you will see good things happening today. Praise God. Remember the Lord says, we are in the season of restoration. And I trust that restoration is coming your way. Praise God. Until tomorrow, this is Atuba Judge. God bless you. Bye-bye.